Hey everybody, okay, you're getting me in the real and the raw today, but I have some things on my mind that I really want to share with you guys. And most of this relates to the mindset behind hitting goals and ranking up. So we are midway, I gotta roll down my windows. We are midway through the month here, a little bit over. And some of you, well, I, I hope all of you had set goals at the beginning of May. Guys, it's so important that we are setting goals. If we're not setting goals, we're just running aimlessly and we're circling. Okay. So you got to be setting goals. But many of you had set big goals at the front of this month, right? Maybe it's to go silver. Maybe it's to go senior silver, gold, whatever it is. And what I'm finding can happen is we hit mid month and maybe things aren't going as expected for us. Maybe we didn't get any joints yet. Maybe that one person who said who we thought we were going to link arms with and was going to be ready to run, maybe they're not taking any action. Okay? Whatever it is that um, is, you, is making you second guess setting your goals or making you doubt whether you're actually capable of going and hitting those goals this month, guys, it's so important that we stop and we do not allow those feelings those fears, those doubts to dictate how we navigate the rest of the month. Guys, it can be so easy to get sucked into the mindset of, oh my gosh, I set a big goal and now things aren't going as they should and so I'm just gonna move it out. I'm just gonna like give myself an out. I'm just gonna try again next month. I'm just gonna kind of coast and I'm gonna kind of preserve myself because then like, you know, because I don't hit my goal, like I'm not failing. Guys, you got to stop. You got to stop because here's the thing. A lot of what you're trying to go and produce, all the work that you're doing right now, the consistency that you're putting into your business, the social media, the getting your face in your stories, the, the business invites for the event coming up next week, the uh, you know working through objections, whatever IPA and work you're doing right now, guys, a lot of times we will not see that pay off until the last week or two of the month. That consistency compounds. These conversations come to a close. We start to create that urgency here at the end of the month. And a lot of the fruition, a lot of the fruit you will see then. So what I want to tell you guys is do not give up. Do not give yourself an out. Don't decide to coast the rest of the month. Don't decide to push out your goals to when you're less busy or things might feel a little bit easier or maybe you'll have people running at that point. Guys, take ownership of your own business. And if you had somebody who did decide not to share, which we all do, guys, we all do, it's, I want to encourage you to dig in and go produce something for yourself, right? We can't just rely on others to show up and link arms with us. We've also got to be leading from the front and putting in our own effort, digging in, sending messages, doing our IPA, having in the hard conversations, right? So it's both and. It's don't, ne don't neglect the business conversations. Don't ne neglect the casting vision. Don't neglect the welcome calls. Don't neglect the getting into people's inboxes and helping them start to share. You need to be creating business builders. But don't neglect your own work and efforts here. Because ultimately, this is your paycheck, right? Your name is on your paycheck, not anybody else's. You can't blame anybody else's lack of action for your lack of results. Woo, that's a good one, okay? So I'm just very fiery today, and I just wanna encourage you guys that if you're in this mindset, if you're in this mindset, this struggling, stuck, defeated mindset, guys, get out of your head and start putting yourself into a position. Hold on, buddy, I'm on the phone. Start putting yourself into a position of how would a successful leader navigate this? Because the difference between an unsuccessful leader and a successful person or unsuccessful person and successful successful person is not that their, their journey is any easier. It is not. We still face the mindset issues. We still face the roadblocks. We still face the unexpected obstacles that come up. It's how the person views it. So are you looking at your problems today as limiting, as keeping you stuck? Or are you looking at them as an opportunity to go and problem solve, to get creative, to dig in, to go take more action? Because you guys can. 
I know that you can go and hit your goals and I'm so excited to see you guys. Go and crush your goals. There's plenty of time yet this month. Do not give up. Dig in. Get gritty here, guys. Talk with your sponsor about what you're struggling with. Don't try to just, don't just stay stuck. Stuck is a choice, okay? So you can do it. I believe in you. I'm excited for the rest of this month.